everyone starting out this vlog I just got back to my apartment so I'm back in the city now it feels great to be back today's Wednesday actually so I still have today off if you watch my last vlog you'll know that I went up to Boston and home to New Hampshire for the weekend so that was really nice I took a couple days off of work just to spend time with family today I took the bus back to New York so here I am and I actually wasn't going to film today, but then I remembered that while I was away, there was the Violette FR pop-up. So I did a video a little while ago on Violette FR, and she is a makeup artist based here in New York City, but she's actually French, and she's an incredibly talented makeup artist, and I love everything she does. And she's actually hosting a pop-up this week in Soho, and the opening Sorry, my battery died. <laughs> Had to start again. The first day was over last weekend, and obviously I was away for the weekend, so I missed it. But I was going, planning to go this weekend, and I thought, you know what, actually, while I'm here during the middle of a week on a Wednesday, there might actually be shorter lines, hopefully. So I'm gonna go now, and I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I just, oh my goodness, I can't. I'm very excited. I love pop-ups and I love New York City for the fact that they have pop-ups. <laughs> so, yep, I'm just gonna do that. I'm wearing my new little Saison shorts. It's really hot, so I just want it to be comfortable in a pair of shorts. This little top is just from H&M. Just a little tie headband there and some sneakers. I might do some grocery shopping afterwards if I have time. So I have a little tote bag here. And then I'm taking a Pilates class at 5.30, so Hopefully I have time to fit all that into the next couple hours. We shall see, but I'm going to get walking so I can get in line. Okay, so this is Green Street, famous Frau Forum building. Be down here, I believe. Oh my gosh, it's right there. Hi. It's right there. Differences, weirdness, our je ne sais quoi is what makes us each who we are. And that is beautiful. Violette FR celebrates our perfect imperfections. Aw, that's exactly what I <laughs> figured. Yes, are you vaccinated? Yes. Do you have a card or um, sort? Yes, I have. Did you? Okay, do I okay. need to wear my mask? No, you do not have to wear your mask. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that must be a new lipstick. <gasps> oh my god. So this is Petal Bouche yeah. lipstick. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's her. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, What's so your cool. name? It's Taylor. Taylor? Nice to meet you, Taylor. Well, we got into your makeup and uh, gave you a little tour of the space. Did you discover a new product? Yeah, I, I own all of them already. You do? <laughs> yeah, well, except for the new one, I guess. I, I just one? saw it, but... Let me show you. Then you oh can gosh. try which one you want. <laughs> so cool. So this is a berry. Okay. That's called Betty. Okay. And then you have a beige one that's called Caliso. Okay. And then you have a coral one that's called Kimo, which kind of means marshmallow. 
Okay. In French. Okay. So it's inspired by candies. And uh, it's very, you know, in French we're obsessed with this bitter lips and that effect. So that's kind of what it is. So basically, the, okay. we're all wearing it right now. We can barely see it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's really pretty. But you can have your makeup done in the back. And then okay. downstairs, it's more about my creative world. So, like, my mood boards in process. And then we, I did a movie of all my favorite movies. To one movie that inspired the brand. So we okay. can discover about the process. Oh my gosh. Movie. Okay, I'll have to go look at it. Yeah. Can you buy these here or is it just to yeah, look at? It's okay. Like, it's like here, the only place you can buy it. Okay. Um, but let me, you come with me. I'll okay. find you a menu to take care of you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so cool. whatever makeup look you want to do okay and then I'll come to check on you and okay thank you like. so much no. appreciate it sorry I like panicked no don't <laughs> worry I'm, I'm so happy you can okay <laughs> thank you <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> it's so cute is that all the makeup yeah makeup and skincare and the hair puff oh my god and also perfume okay oh cool awesome Oh, are these the new um Yeah, the the digital. Okay. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, it's really cute. Okay. <laughs> so I can are these like clean yeah, that I live? Okay. It's, it's all we all sanitize each each uh, customer so <laughs> So I just tried all the products. I'm going to take this one and then this one. I just did the eye look. Like a fresh springy look under the eyes. And then I got all three of these lipsticks. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're one of the first to get this. I am. Um, okay. It's a box we created for those who take the three bisou bone. Okay. So we're gonna remove this, but I'll let you unpack. <gasps> they're gonna stay there but okay. what happened is I didn't want you to throw this away yeah so what I did is I that can you can take this out yeah. and then you have a little secret message right <gasps> here oh my gosh and you can <laughs> keep so that cool. box with your jewelry or anything you want in it yeah it's so pretty I love how pink it is it's like <laughs> so bright and fun awesome oh my gosh I'm gonna leave you the boxes here so you have the okay. ingredients okay the empty okay <laughs> Thank Bye. you so much. Okay. <laughs> really appreciate it. <laughs> Yay. You, you got a box. Usually when you buy three, you got a box. You do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I have to. I you have to. Because <laughs> Yay. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is like... Oh, it's like... This is like so true to I feel like everything that I see on her videos, which is that the makeup is truly like art. And if you can just see like her inspiration here for the petal bouche was the rose and all of the different pigments and colors. And I think I, I saw and I read an interview with her and she said that when she was deciding what she wanted to do, she either wanted to be, a, she, I think, originally a painter, um, and then kind of just like, it sort of fell into this doing makeup, and it's so cool, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> That's cute. 
Yeah, that's like the, the little symbol that's on the top of all of the products. This must be a, like an inspiration board. March 30th, I think that was must have been the day of the launch. Wow. Oh my gosh. How cool. Those are like pigments of colors. And I think it's a, a story that when she first started out as a makeup artist, she couldn't afford to buy the makeup, so she just bought pigments and just kind of went from there. And I just think it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and take some pictures. <gasps> I got my little bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I just left the pop up and I actually think I just died when I saw Violet. I wasn't sure if she was going to be there in person or, in person or not. So I couldn't believe that she was. So when I saw her, I just like stood there like completely like completely just frozen I was the most uncool person ever and she was so sweet and like so kind and like was nice about it but I was just like I actually just panicked I don't know what it is with me but when I see she's like a celebrity I mean like if you see a celebrity but I don't know I need to be way more I need to learn how to be way more chill way more cool with that but I mean I don't know when you see someone who's like your idol you get, you get really excited but yeah oh I could have spent forever in there but yeah that was just I mean the coolest thing ever to me um I think she'll, she's doing like master classes and stuff. I couldn't, I can't make the one tomorrow, but I know that she was saying that maybe she'll do more in the future. So oh, I just think it's so cool. Oh my gosh, my entire like week <laughs> was just, it was just in vain. So <sighs> yes, yeah, so, 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 so exciting. Anyways, okay, what time is it? All right, it is, it's 2.49, so it's three. I have two and a half hours before my class, before my workout class. So what I, what I might do, ooh, make this a little bit. <laughs> I think what I might do is go grocery shopping. So I think I was actually, originally my plan was to go up to Union Square to do, to uh, go to the farmer's market and I actually, I might have time to do that. It's only like a six minute bike ride. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna find a city bike, bike up there, get some groceries come back and then run to my to my Pilates class. Oh my gosh, such a fun day. Okay, oh, and look, it's such a beautiful sunny day out. This is one of my favorite corners right here. I'm on the corner of Green Street and Prince Street. This is the Ralph Lauren building. It's a really, really pretty one, especially for photos. You have Louis Vuitton right there and others, so yay. Okay, where is the city bike? difficult in the city but anyways I made it to Union Square 
place they have the farmers market here it's called the Union Square Green Market so I'm excited to get some fresh foods for the week probably get lots of fruits and veggies because I like to do the veggies for my salads and then fruits wow this <laughs> I don't know if this red look suits me I look a little bit emo but anyway <laughs> oh well okay let's get some fruits and veg There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with the place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got so much stuff. Here is my farmer's market haul. So <laughs> I just laid it all out so that I could show basically what I got. I got some fresh kale, which I also, by the way, I'm going to thoroughly wash all of this. I got some a big bunch of kale. I got this. These are some multicolored radishes, which I thought was cool. There's like purple ones, red ones, and white ones. This is a salad. So I think the salad just looked so good to me. So I think I'm actually going to eat this later after my class. I got some sprouts because I like making a sprout sandwich and I actually when I was home got this really nice cheese that I like making with it. I got a nice crunchy big loaf of whole wheat peasant bread. This is some cilantro because I like adding it to my salads. I think it adds some nice flavor. I got some fresh blueberries, strawberries. I got a green and yellow zucchini squash. This is some yummy squash, so I'm going to um, probably saute those and have them for dinner one night this week. I got two little cucumbers, which will be yummy in my salads, and a big ripe tomato, which will be also great in my salads. And then the very last thing that I got was just some little pretty flowers. I don't know what these are called, but they look like little daisies to me, and I just thought that they were so sweet. So. Yep, that's the haul, and I tried to get as much minimal plastic as possible. I used my reusable bags over there, and any time they were like trying to give me a bag, I was like, no, 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 I'll just put it in my, my reusable bag, I don't need the plastic, and they were totally fine with that, so yay, I mean a little bit here, but definitely cut back for sure, and yay, shop local, healthy, and this all looks so delicious to me, I can't wait to chop it up and eat it. Okay guys, <laughs> I am now running to my class through on my little Labrador Voices outfit and I have like less than five minutes to get there and it's like still down a couple blocks so I hope that they don't shut up, close the doors and not let me in the class but yay.
so I skipped over two days. Basically, <laughs> it went from being so relaxed, having time off, and then when I came back to work, it was like two days of absolute <laughs> craziness. It was so busy. I had hundreds of unread emails, so many meetings. So yeah, I just worked really hard the last two days and I'm excited to just have a fun Friday night now. So this weekend, my friend Mary is coming to visit. So she's actually on the train ride on her way here now. So yeah, she's gonna get off the train, come meet me here. She's gonna stay the night with me here, which is so exciting. She's actually, I think, gonna be my first guest that I've had, besides Lyle, obviously, stay the night here. So that'll be really fun. Her, Kendall, and then our other friend, Monica, Lyle, and I are all going to go get dinner. We're going to go to Ruby's, so very, very close by. So yeah, really excited to do that. Just waiting for them to come. I'm trying to do like a casual but like nice look I guess I don't know how casual it actually is but let me show you basically I put on the Zara dress so this is just like a white dress because I actually have a tan right now I feel like the white just pops better on me than it does when I don't have a tan so I wanted to do that and then I did like a really casual I just kind of like brushed the curling iron through my hair. I did some really just like simple, simple curls. I want it to look kind of like messy, undone, very just natural looking. So I don't want to look like I try too hard, you know? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so just a simple white dress. No big deal. And yeah, I actually haven't done, I haven't finished doing my makeup yet. I was just cleaning, getting ready for Mary to come. I have tidied, tidied my apartment here. And I'm so excited. Okay, Mary's here. Hi. <laughs> Yay. I okay. Made it to the city. <laughs> she took the subway. And first the train. First the train, then the, then the yeah. First the train, then the subway. And I made it Yay. to the Big Apple. Yay. <laughs> so we're excited. <laughs> so we're okay. going to get dinner. Yeah. And drinks. Yeah. And see where the night takes us. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let's maybe let's go down now and. Okay. Cool. See if we can put our name down. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. morning now <laughs> Mary's here she stayed with me last night so that was really fun 
we ended up going out to eat at Ruby's. I got this like, I guess like pumpkin kind of salad thing, so it was really refreshing and tasty. And then afterwards, we wanted to like go out, have drinks. And so first we went to the Lower East Side because we figured there's so many different options there, but obviously there's so many lines and it's so crowded. So then we ended up going to the West Village, which was really nice. We ended up at the Garrett, which is a speakeasy. So it's right like right in the middle of the West Village and it's actually a Five Guys. So it looks like a Five Guys. You would you would have no idea that there's a bar hidden in there. So you go into the Five Five Guys, you go to the back of the go to the back and then you go up the stairs and there's like a whole bar up there and it's really cool i mean it's very small they have some tables but we were able to get some drinks at the bar and then we were able to get like a little spot in the corner to sit down so that was nice really nice to spend some time with mary and kendall and monica and yeah it was good to see friends and then this morning we're just getting ready we're going to brunch so we're going to i think this place called la parisienne Hopefully they don't take reservations, so we're gonna basically like put like try to put our names down and see how long the wait is. And uh, we're actually gonna go down by Kendall. So Kendall just moved into Manhattan. I am so excited for her. I mean, it's so cool to just like have another friend that lives on the <laughs> on the island. So I'm really excited to spend more time with her. We're gonna go down and check out her new apartment. So maybe I can show you guys some of it. I know she just moved in and. Um, she just met these girls that are her roommates, so I don't want to be too, you know, like all over the place, but maybe I can show you her apartment so you can see like another New York City apartment. And yeah, so she lives in Fidei, actually right nearby where my boyfriend Lyle used to live, so I know the area pretty well. Um, lots of cute little spots down there. So yeah, we're basically going to go down, meet up with Kendall, see her apartment, get brunch, and then hopefully film some TikToks. But yeah, it's supposed to be like 90 degrees today. So let me show you a quick outfit. So I put on this shirt. I actually just got this at the Violette FR pop-up. So I went back the next day just to go in quickly, get a t-shirt. And I actually want to go back and get the pink one too. But I saw her wearing it and I was like totally inspired. And I actually love just wearing white t-shirts. So this is perfect and I feel very comfortable. And happy in this uh, I just rolled up the sleeves a little bit I threw on a necklace I never wear necklaces <laughs> but this is like a little heart locket necklace from breath of youth I threw my hair up because it's just gonna be way too hot and I feel like I'm a type of person that looks better with their hair up versus down anyways so also happy with this Ooh, and this this lipstick so I love this it's such like a fresh spring color it's like a coral just like fun bright happy summer color so this is the bisu bomb from violet fr also got that there I'll show you what that looks like in a second and then i just paired it with this little skirt this is from love shack fancy i think i got it in, in the sale in the springtime so yeah i love pairing just like a white t-shirt with something like a cute little skirt on the bottom whether that's a, like a midi skirt or if it's a mini skirt, I love mini skirts the best. So yeah, this is like, I feel like such a tailor outfit. I feel so comfortable and happy in this. And yay, okay, I'll show you what the Bisu Bomb looks like. Okay, so I've been keeping it up here for now, but I probably will put it in my drawer with the rest of my lipsticks. But I thought that this was so cool because Violette actually handed this to me herself and it so you open it up and i just think that it's so pretty because it's like this pink velvet it's such a gorgeous gorgeous color which makes sense because i feel like she is so big into just like the colors and everything and the pigments so her everything that is a color is obviously going to be i mean she's going to do it right so I actually got all three. I don't think these aren't even available on her website yet, unfortunately. So you actually do have to go to the pop-up. Actually, I think the pop-up is there through the 22nd. So maybe when this video is live, I need to look at my calendar. There might be a couple days if you live in New York. If not, I'm sure that these will be live on the website. 
pretty soon. So yeah, it just comes in this little thing and there's three different balms, the lipsticks. The one that I'm wearing is this shade here. It's called, you know what? It's a French term. I, there's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But this is what it looks like. It's a coral. So it's this really, really pretty coral color and it's just something fun. I feel like if you're going to do a lip that's this color, don't go crazy on your eye look or anything else. Just let the lip be kind of the focal point so that's kind of that's kind of what I've done with my makeup look today I did a little bit of blush but I kept my eyes very natural because I want the lip to be really the focal point so yes so 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 happy and excited about that and the cool thing that and then there's two other shades one is like a neutral which I actually wore last night this one in the middle and then this is more of a red and what Violette showed me which I thought was really cool was how you can actually once you you know put these lipsticks away you can keep this box and there's a little surprise message in the bottom <laughs> so yeah that's so cute and fun but yeah I love I think if you buy all three that's the only way that you can get this so yes so 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 cute love it but okay i am actually i think there's a tiktok that i want to film with the girls where you basically are wearing like sunglasses and these like silk scarves so i'm gonna find my silk scarves bring them with me and we're gonna have a fun day <laughs> it's so hot I know, it is super hot. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Yeah. <laughs>
just going to head over to Lyle's I was reapplying my lipstick and I noticed that my lips right here were kind of um, I guess like chapped and the lipstick didn't look too great on them because you know they were just chapped and then I was like hmm, I wish that I had like one of those sugar lip scrub things and then I remembered a little trick so basically just like household items what you can do to kind of fix this is take some brown sugar and then some olive oil and make a little thing. And then you can rub that on your lips and it's like a scrub. And like, these are just like things that everyone has in their kitchen, you know, their pantry staples. And it's so easy if you wanna make sure that your lipstick looks good. So I'm just gonna rub this on my lips. Try not to make a mess or spill it on your shirt. I think this was something I learned in like a Cosmopolitan magazine when I was like 13 <laughs> or maybe 15, I don't remember. And then just wash it off. So I'm actually just gonna take, you could just put your mouth under the water and just go like that, but I'm gonna take a reusable cotton pad with some water on it and just rub it off. Wonderful. Under the lipstick, I am going to follow with a tiny bit of balm so now, you have perfectly smooth lips when you're ready to apply your lipstick. I'm applying that same lipstick I was wearing just because I feel like it goes with the outfit. It's the shade Guimauve. <laughs> I don't know. It's the, She names everything like French, French words and I just, I'm not cool enough. <laughs> and this is my flower? 65. It's a style. It's like a technical like style. Good morning, guys. Just walked past Bloomingdale's. It looks so beautiful. It's a uh, Sunday morning now, almost 12.30. I have a hair appointment at Roman K Salon. I'm seeing Jasmine, of course. And yeah, I'm really excited. My hair really needs it. So I feel like this is a perfect time. Today's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to my dad. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the salon. I'm gonna walk down here. This weekend's been really, really fun. It was awesome to hang out with my friends and also, I just like, I saw a couple of celebrities this week. It was really crazy somehow. I don't know how it happened. We saw the guy from the movie How to Be Single, the like the boyfriend in the beginning, who she breaks up with and then tries to come back to, and then he's with another girl, and then like she doesn't end up with him in the end. Um, I forget what his name is, but I'll put it on the screen here. I saw him. I like talked to him in a pizza place for a little bit, which was interesting. Um, Oh, I also saw Violette again. So last night I was walking back from Lyle's apartment just to go change and to meet my friend Mary to go grab her stuff from my apartment. And she, um, she, uh, I was 
wearing her shirt. I was wearing the Violet t-shirt. I walked right past her, but I didn't want to stop and say anything because she was like with her little girl and it looked like she was with family and stuff. She was right outside of the store Bash, that French clothing store that I told you guys about. So yeah, I mean, just so cool. She's like the coolest, I think. So yeah, so last night we went to Bar Bar, which is like, I mean, we go there all the time. It's like our go-to place. It's Indian food and it's so good. Yeah, we had that and just came back fall asleep <laughs> and uh, yeah now I'm, I'm actually almost there at the salon so I'm gonna have to turn this off and I'll see you guys inside else happened after the hair appointment I'm <laughs> tired now it's Sunday night and I have work tomorrow morning so just getting ready for that but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog I feel like it was actually a really fun weekend and got to do a lot of stuff it was really fun to see my friends and then also hang out with Lyle and yeah it's just overall just a happy weekend so I'm very grateful for it and I'm grateful that you watched it and I hope that you will subscribe. Okay, <laughs> I actually noticed, so when I'm on YouTube and I can like answer to, answer to comments in the like YouTube studio, which is where you like upload your videos and stuff, there's actually a little marker that says if you're subscribed or not. And I noticed that so many people that like watch my videos and comment, most people actually aren't subscribed. And I totally get that because like, Honestly, I never comment and I like watch a lot of other YouTube videos and I never really comment just because I don't know why. I actually don't really know why, but I'm more of like a silent listener and sometimes it actually takes me a while to, to subscribe. Like I'll watch someone for a while and then, de then decide if I want to subscribe. So I totally get it, but, but I would love if you did please subscribe <laughs> and of course check out the fashion squirrel and then also go to TikTok to watch that video that we filmed with the head scarves and the sunglasses it's total like 60s vibes so that was funny but it has a like a copyrighted song in it so I couldn't put it in the video but go over to TikTok to check that one out and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay bye <laughs>